So guys, it has been a lot going on and especially here in Texas, um, you guys know that I'm located in Dallas. Welcome to Raw Talks TV. I'm your host, Lenore, and here is where the people connect to the story. And we had this crazy winter blizzard that just destroyed a lot of things um, emotionally and physically, being without le electricity, you know, without water, um, freezing, all type of stuff. But if you guys want to know more about that situation and what happened, check out the podcast because I definitely did a podcast of just the raw, authentic truth of my emotions and how I was feeling. So check that in the description below. But today, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about emotions and how to manage emotions and how to identify what emotion you are feeling and then how to move past those certain emotions, okay? And just let you guys know that it's okay, especially during the middle of a pandemic, to be in tune with your emotions and making sure that they're your emotions and not other people's emotions. So I'm gonna kind of break that down um, and I just wanted to do this video because I, some, I know that it's a lot of people that are feeling emotionally overwhelmed, their emotions are up and down, they're moody, you know, they're sad, they're angry, they're happy, they're joyful, Joyful, you know, or whatever they depressed, you know, so I just want to kind of speak to what that actually looks like and how to overcome these, you know, whirlwind of emotions during a time like this. Okay, now emotion is simply a feeling that has to deal with your temperament, your mood, your personality, right? So if I am going through in a situation or you are going through a situation where you're feeling angry, you're feeling anxious, you're feeling overwhelmed, nine times out of 10, it's attached to your mentality dealing with the situation, right? So if my feelings was hurt and I'm sitting here feeling sad and I'm feeling pain, but I'm not articulating that whatever the situation that made me made my feelings hurt, if I don't have anywhere to express it, then it's going to get boggled up on the inside of me, right? And a lot of times, a lot of people, we keep our emotions in, inward. But emotions are meant to be expressed. Not all emotions should be expressed because, you know, you can be angry. You can be, you know, raging. Those, all those things are emotions based off the, psych the psychological aspect of what, how you perceive the situation um, or what has been done to you. So... I would say that, especially during the time of grief, I think you should really pay attention to your emotions, how you feel, because sometimes you can think that things are your fault and they're not. Sometimes we can place blame on the wrong person. Sometimes we can become victimized. Sometimes we can take on other people's burdens and situations as our own. So dealing with grief, dealing with um, the care for other people. Sometimes, you know, we can take on other people's cares and worries if they're ours, depending on who they are. So if they're a family, a friend, someone you love, you're genuinely, if you're a good person or a person with empathy and compassion, you're going to feel what that other person is feeling. You're going to, with the, you're going to want to uh, bear the, that emotion, that feeling with your friend and or family member because you, one, maybe can relate to what they're going through or two, you you could just have a, 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 a desire to comfort them, right? So when we're dealing with emotions, we have to have a safe space to exercise that. And, and number one, we have to be okay that it is okay to express our emotion. It is okay to feel the way that we feel. I know society may tell us, no, you can't show this expression. You can't do this. You can't do that. But that's a lie. And a lot of people lose their mind. A lot of people... Um, commit suicide, a lot of people go into a deep depression because society has told us that we can't express ourselves, you know, depending on what ethnicity you are, what gender you are, what sexuality you are. Somebody's always trying to control how we should communicate. But let's, I just want to break that all down right now. I want to break that uh, stereotype right now, this taboo topic around, you know, emotions because God gave us emotions. He gave us something to express ourselves. Now, how we express them is up to us. Correct with me. So if I am upset, but I don't really feel comfortable talking about it, I can journal. I can sing. I can write music. I can paint. I can go for a walk, right? Until I feel comfortable enough to share. But I think that you should allow yourself at least two days 
to deal with your own emotions, to figure out what you're actually feeling, and then trying to communicate it. Sometimes you may not always have the words, right? But it's good to find a safe space, a friend, a best friend, a cousin, a counselor, your mama, your daddy, you know, um, a mentor, a teacher, somebody that you can trust that understands you and that can provide um, language as well as provide co constructive criticism, a space where you can brainstorm, a space where you're not judged to be able to articulate, help you articulate what you're actually feeling and if those emotions actually belong to you or not. Because a lot of times, like I said, key word is sometimes we take on other people's emotions. And if, and if you are anything like me, I have a love for people and I pray for people all the time. And sometimes the emotions that I'm feeling is not necessarily my emotions. And I've learned to say, God, whose emotions are these? Are these mine or are these the emotions of aching people around me, right? But I'm not going to get too deep into that, but um, that is a real thing. You get two days, guys, two days to to try to figure out what is going on. Write it out, you know, cry it out, pray it out, you know, uh, listen to music, whatever the case may be. You got those two days. And after that, you need to express it outwardly, okay? Um, you need to have somebody that you can bounce back. Back, bounce back what you've been thinking, what you've been feeling to be able to uh, have that communication for yourself so that you can feel secure in yourself, right? And I think that you should be intentional about um, creating these relationships where you feel safe, where you feel like I can be me judgment free, right? Not saying that you're not going to have a support system that's not going to, you know, tell you when you're wrong or when you're right That because you need those and you're not going to always be right. Um, but a space where somebody can really hear you out and then help you navigate through that. So I just wanted to, and like I said, pick up a hobby. When you're dealing with a lot of emotions and your head is all over the place and you just, you need a hobby. You need to get outside. You need something. Run, ride a bike, you know, go shopping, whatever that is. You need to get out and be able to have a, a hobby, um, a good, a positive one, right? Pick up good habits. Get eating, exercising, reading, whatever, whatever that is, pick up something good. And then I like to find topics, podcasts, videos, books that's helping me deal with whatever I'm dealing with. Right. Um, so those are some good things for you. But I just wanted to create this video um, to let you guys know that it is OK to express your, your emotions. It's OK to have moments, but do not let the moments um, dictate the rest of your future, dictate the rest of your days. No, 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 no. You got two days. That's it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you like this video, put it in the comments, turn on your notifications. Really think about everything that I said. All the links are in the description below. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, tell somebody about it and join the Raw Talk TV fam. I love y'all. Bye-bye.